everybody. I'm Dr. Deb Butler. I'm a Master Life and Weight Coach certified, and I've been doing this for the last 12 to 15 years. But I want you to know that before I was a life coach, I was a chiropractor. And while I was a chiropractor and I knew everything there was to know about nutrition, I was still gaining the same 15 to 20 pounds over and over and over again. And it wasn't until I hit 50 years old and my weight would not come off anymore that I said, there's no way I can't do this. I can't go on another diet. And that is when I became a life coach. I learned the skills that I want to teach you about weight coaching. And what I learned is that why you eat when you're not hungry is the answer to everything. It's what I learned. It's what I want to teach you. So here's the thing. Why do you eat when you're not hungry? You know, the way that we were born and the way that we were wired was only to eat when we're hungry and stop when we're full. I have grandchildren now, but I also raise children. Have you ever seen a three-year-old? Could you make a three-year-old eat if they didn't want to eat? They would just throw it in your face. They only know how to eat when they're hungry and stop when you're full. You have to be able to learn the same thing. You're wired that way. So the first tool that I always teach is the physical hunger scale of how to eat when you're hungry and stop when you're full. But the next thing and the most important thing is why you don't do that. And that is what I teach, is why you eat when you're not hungry. Why you weigh what you weigh is probably because you're eating when you're not hungry. Now, I've created an emotional hunger scale to help understand this phase of why you do what you do. I teach this and I teach it on my podcast too. I have a podcast that's called Thinner Peace and Menopause and Beyond. I've created it. I'm the host of it. I have 200 and something episodes. But in this, if you go to the link at the bottom of this, you'll see the podcast that goes with what I'm talking about right now the emotional hunger scale, for you to start learning why you eat when you're not hungry. It's the beginning of everything.